I unclipped my self-sharpening, Teflon-coated brushed steel axe and swung it at her neck. Her arms and legs twitched spastically, and then her whole body crumpled to the floor. I didn't know about the dog. I reversed my stance, flipped the handle so the blade was side out, and roundhoused my return shot. The blow caught Steve in the side of the head, and there was a sound like eggs cracking amplified 10 million times. And then I came, and all of the colors combined, and hurled me to the floor. Thinking loot, I dug through the drawers and cabinets, then stopped myself. What I had just had was better than anything I could take. Almost. The delay in finding the bodies made my confidence grow in quantum leaps. I shoplifted an axe identical to my old one and devastated its cutting edge. Within 50 hours and 10 minutes after the moment. Police, open up. Yeah, what is it? Don't you know what it is? Fill me in. Six fucking AM. I'm just dying to hear what you gotta say. Comedian. What did you say? He said let us the fuck in. What are those? An axe and a scythe. I can see that, Plunkett. Yeah, we know your name. What are they looking for? Anything out of place? Like those tools, maybe? What do you use them for? To trim my nails. Don't fuck with me. Then tell me what this is all about. I'll get to it. How long you lived here in town? A while. And how long would that be? Since April. What's a guy like you doing with tools like that? I've been working over on a building site in Raytown. I use them to dig up tree stumps and brush. Uh-huh. Who got you the job? No one. I got it off the bulletin board at the university. You a student? No. Then what gave you the right to the job? Being broke gave me the right. Stop busting my balls. How many burglaries you pulled around here? 9,643 last time I counted. I said don't. Fuck with me. I pulled a B&E in LA five years ago. I did a year. I toughed out my probation, I stayed clean, and I moved here. I was a kid when I pulled that B&E. I haven't done it since, so what do you want? You know this is serious. I know this is more than a burglary roust. Smart lad. You like pussy. Yeah. Do you? Had any lately? Last night. In my dreams. Cute. You like blondes or brunettes? Both. I mean, pussy's pussy, right? Let's change the subject. How about baseball? How about dogs? You like dogs? Sure. Who doesn't? Got one? No pets allowed. 
How about boys? You bisexual? No. Into three ways? No. You ever take it up the ass? No. Oh, you eat it then. Strike a nerve, cool cat? Maybe you got Reem doing your bullet in L.A. Maybe now your switch gets flipped by boys. You hate yourself for liking it. Maybe your switch got flipped, say, Monday night about 9 o'clock when Steve and Jill suggested a party. Maybe you came back later and took it out on Steve with a meat mallet, chopped off Jill's head because you didn't like the way she looked at you. Even gutted the dog. Whoa! How many people you killed, Plunkett? You mean people were murdered? That's right. Where were you Monday night? I was here. Alone? Yes. What were you doing? I got home from work about 8.30. I, I cleaned up. I had some dinner. I read a book for about an hour. And I went to sleep. A swinging evening. Makes me wish I was you. Is that what you usually do? Yeah. Don't you get lonely? What do you think? When did you first meet Jill Eversall and Stephen Safakis? I've never heard of them. Were they the ones? That's right. Yeah, she was a good-looking brunette, about 5'6". Nice tits. You like tits, right? Okay. What about Steve Safakis? 5'11", 190, reddish brown hair with mutton chop sideburns, tattoo of a dragon on his left ankle. In the course of a microsecond, it all became astonishingly clear. Detective Perfect wasn't so perfect after all. I resisted the temptation to be drawn in by him and concentrated on the stain. Nothing but the stain. Switch it. Hung like a mule. You dig big cocks? And then... I went in for the kill. Just my own. Can we wrap this up? I've got to get to work. We may damn well wrap you up, Plunkett. This is getting old. Since I didn't kill anyone, why don't we hot foot it down to the station? You hit me with a lie detector test, I pass it, and you cut me loose. What do you say? Ever fucked Jill Eversall or Steve Sifakis? Come on, man. No, you come on. Answer my question. No! I never fucked Jill Eversall or Steve Sifakis! Hey, mind if we take this? Don't worry, we'll return it. Sure, go ahead. We might be back. Stay clean. <laughs>